Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 9 French Medium, the AMX-30, one of the new lines that World of Tanks brought out a few patches ago. I'm in a platoon with fellow MI6 members, John, who you would have seen in some of my other videos if you're a subscriber, and also Dragon's Bane, who's an awesome player who's always up for a good laugh in team speak during platoon, strongholds, and clan wars, which we've started getting into now at MI6. The clan's going well, we're growing slowly and steadily, and we've got a great bunch of guys and girls who like to have a good laugh, platoon a lot, do strongholds a lot, so if you're looking for a new clan and you want to participate in strongholds, clan wars and platoons, then MI6 is possibly the clan for you. Anyway, on this map, this is a place I like to scoot around, especially if I'm in a quick medium like the AMX-30. You can see it's doing over 50 k's an hour right now, close to 60. Come around the centre, Dragon's Bane's coming with me and talking about outflanking the, the heavies and mediums that often push through the centre of this map. Sure, that's good-natured chat going on in the chat. I have no idea who's talking to who, but um, Dragons and myself are pushing up. We find this E50, and we're just going to take turns shooting him and chipping away. I get an unlucky bounce there, and I cop two good shots from him. He is using APCR. I don't know if that's the standard ammunition in the E50 or not. Another unlucky bounce but our artillery does the job and gets rid of him nice and early as we continue to poke have a Dragons goes first because he's on full health I wasn't quite quick enough to get a shot off into that Indian Panzer but I look around the corner and there's a sneaky little Type 61 Tier 9 Japanese medium tank before I get a cheap shot into him as it looks like the, AMX, the Indian Panzer is firing high explosives Oh, explosive ammunition, which is only going to do 100 odd damage, unless it takes out some crew or anything like that, but T-57 is about to get him from behind, he's let him on fire, and it's good night Irene for that little Indian panzer. John's getting around in his light tank and his WZ-132, the Chinese tier 8. He's been grinding that for some time and he always has an awesome game in it. But we've won the centre, so we're going to keep pushing around to try and outflank those heavy tanks that are, that are engaging our, our E100 and T32 on the eastern side of this little skirmish. Now I must say at this stage of the game I haven't had the best game of my life but I've only done 1200 damage. I did bounce quite a few shots on that T50 to pick up the first kill, T54 very dangerous tank and a very dangerous player going by his battle statistics. E100 helped us out there with that Tiger 2. Now yeah, the mouse is showing me his side. The mouse is hard to penetrate but when you've got him on the side it's uh, not that hard at all especially at um, especially when you're at a T9. The good gun the AMX-30 does have a very good gun, you often, especially when you get the upgraded gun, it really does pump the damage out, just got to make sure you don't take too much damage, because the armour is not the best. And now everyone's fighting over this E100 now, he's got himself into a corner, I'm thinking there's plenty of people here, I probably should just turn around and go somewhere else, look at the map, there's, everyone is focusing in on this E100. And he's got no chance. I know the E100 has got awesome armour, but against eight tanks, no chance. So I turn around, I get out of there. And someone's sitting on our cap. John's not far from our cap, as you can see in the mini-map. And he's lighting him up. And as we're talking on TeamSpeak, John's letting us know there's quite a few there. There's at least three. So we're not going to go for their cap. We're going to um, go and reset. Because there's there at least three tanks there, but it looks like a couple of them have already been killed. But there'd be nothing worse in a game like this where you're winning 8 4 to be outcapped towards the end, which, which can happen. 
Now it looks like it's just a JP2 sitting there. So I'll just auto aim on him. And get my second kill. So you can see on my damage counter, I've done 3200 damage so far. A lot of, I'm sure, good natured um, chat going on in the chat box at the bottom left of the screen. I'm criticising their mouse, who obviously was pushing forward, but I think that's what mouses do. They push forward, I guess. I don't know. I haven't got one. I hope to have one in the next few months. So John and myself are going wide around the map. Dragons is continuing through the middle. And we're just, at the moment now, we're just fighting over scraps. Pretty hard to lose. Pretty hard to lose from this position. Even when I shoot the dirt. Try and get rid of that Rhymatol ball seek there. Even though it's only a tier 8, it, um, they can pump out a heap of damage with pinpoint accuracy. John's charging this Leopard 1. I'm letting him know that I'm right behind him. I'll be backing him up very soon. Between the two of us, we'll just chip away and. get rid of him. And that's my fourth kill. 4,341 damage so far, going by my damage counter. And I'm pretty sure that's about it for me in this game, but it's a good result nonetheless, as you'll see on the post-game battle results soon. You can see the big advantage of the AMX-30 is its, it's mobility. It's as mobile as anything. It can get around quickly. Every tank's got its good and bad points. Obviously the bad points are its armor or lack of armor, but it's a reasonably accurate gun. It's a quick tank. It can get around. It can relocate really quickly if you need to chase a different flank as Dragons takes out the second last tank of the game. And now we're just heading for all. It's just a big arty hunt now. It's like you can always think at this, at this point of the game whenever there's only one artillery left and you've already just about win it. I feel like playing the Benny Hill music. Everyone's rushing around trying to get him. He's aiming my way, this bloke, but I'll get another shot in. And John does the kamikaze into their artillery at the end and dies and crashes. But anyway, it was an awesome game. Having a look at the post-game battle results, try to disregard that experience result, 9,000 experience. I think that was a times five weekend. So, but I picked up a high caliber and confederate medal. I think Dragons also picked up a confederate medal. A uh, first class mastery badge, and you'll see I've got another video coming up where I do get a mastery badge. There's not that much difference in the amount of damage, so I was probably one shot away. So if one of those shots into the E50 at the start had it penetrated, I probably would have got my mastery badge. But anyway, looking at all the tanks I damage, there's about eight of them there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, more, about 12. So it's very happy with my game in that one and as you'll see on the next screen um, all three of us had a really good game as well page two of the post game battle results 4686 damage I ended up doing that's why that was with the last shot on the artillery four kills and I got those medals you can see dragons also got the confederate medal there with 4000 damage and John had a good game his little light tank in the tier 8 WZ132 Chinese light tank with 2223 damage and a kill and we we're top three in damage and experience so that's always good when you have a platoon like that who smash out the damage and carry the game I suppose you could say looking at the enemy side that AMX 1390 had a massive game with 3,000 nearly 3,200 damage and a couple of kills uh, the Jag Panther probably did okay and the Borsig but not nobody really stood up a Leopard 1 2,000 damage that's not a bad game but um, plenty of players on our side did um, well over 2,000 and around about 2,000 damage like KB4 nearly 2,000 damage at tier 8 in a, in a tier 10 game that's awesome And moving on to the final page, you can see it's a healthy profit, 34,500 credits after I've reloaded and all that kind of garbage. Uh, that's with a premium account, would have been 12,000 with a normal account. 16 hits, 14 penetrated, that's not using any gold ammunition whatsoever. I've found in this tank you really don't need the gold ammunition. The only time that you might need to is if you're forced to engage a, a heavily armoured 
like an American tank destroyer or, or a or a big mouse or or a heavily armored tier 10 heavy tank or tank destroyer from the front which you probably shouldn't be doing you really should be looking for a way around the sides and as you saw on the mouse in the E100 it was quite easy to penetrate from the sides that was using normal ammunition and I think normal ammunition is APCR so it might look like it's gold but it's not anyway I've enjoyed bringing this replay to you I've got another replay coming soon probably the next day or two using the same tank with a different platoon I think John's in it but uh, Dragons isn't it's, it's John and Tuggy the old Rat Pack platoon in which I do get my mastery badge and it's only a little bit of difference in the amount of damage I do so I reckon I was pretty close in this game as always it's always awesome platooning with the guys from MI6 it's a great clan it's a great great bunch of people and we always have a good laugh thanks for watching and thanks Dragons and John for the platoon it was awesome take care and I'll see you all next time